I want to take this moment just to give you a little bit of information about some new products from our sister company, ALG Defense. Go Juice and Quadruple Zero Very Thin Grease, also in the Go Juice line. These lubricants right here have been a year and a half in the making. Go Juice is a biosynthetic oil, which means part of the molecule comes from an oil seed. This is not a vegetable oil. The basic part, approximately 25% of the molecule is an oil seed, and then the rest of the molecule is synthesized. The reason this is bio-based is because bio-based oils, we found that they have the highest lubricity. Lubricity is the inverse of friction. It has the highest lubricity of any oils. This is totally different than a petroleum oil, completely different. When you lube your gun, you will find how slick this, this oil is, how it rejects carbon, and how easy it is for your, for your, to clean your gun. Another advantage of Go Juice, on top of the lubricity, is its safety. There is no, if you notice on the back, there is no hazardous warning symbol that are required in the United States, none at all. This oil is as safe as we can make it. It's not even an irritant. This is very important to me because I think a lot of gun lubricants out there in these gun lubricants are chemicals, heavy metals, barium, different types of things that basically are poisonous. And we work with this oil on our hands. It does, just doesn't go into an industrial gearbox and sit in the gearbox and nobody ever touches it. We lubricate our guns. It's on the outside of the guns. We have it on our hands and then we sit down and we eat a sandwich. And you know, my, my boys are getting old enough to shoot now and they're getting the same thing on their hands and I'm concerned about them that they're not handling an oil that could potentially cause problems down the road for them with their health. It's another thing about this oil. It's as safe as we could make it. It's also non-gummy. This is a big, big part of a, of a gun oil. Many gun oils over time will degrade and lock up, and they'll lock your gun up. Some oils out there on the market that are advertised to be from plants, things like this, they will turn into a nasty brown gum that will completely lock your weapon up. I'll give you an example. We have a hardness tester here, actually several of them. But this one that I, that I purchased, we had it calibrated, it's from 1972. And this hardness tester has a large ram on a big, and it has a big Acme screw on it. And this just wasn't very, didn't move very freely. So I took one of these gun oils and I sprayed it on this ram and moved the mechanism around and this ram became you know as free as could be slide up and down and I was like great it just needed a little bit of oil you know this is an older manual type of hardness tester and about a week later I came back to this this thing and man that ram was sticky again and I was like okay I put some more oil on it and it freed up and I was like okay and I came back you know next week and the next thing you know here you go Joe hand me that hand me that M1 the next thing you know this thing starts to lock up again. And I was like, what the heck? So I said, okay, let me, let me get some, some solvent in here. And I took a solvent by the name of Kroll. It comes in an orange can. Kroll is the absolute best penetrating oil ever. I used to use it back when I was a young guy and I worked as a millwright. And I worked on a lot of industrial machines that had been together for 30 years. They're rusted, frozen shut, bolts that are rusted in place. You, we, we would have Kroll in a 55 gallon drum and you'd spray this on this old machine and it would just absolutely loosen the rust up and make the machine much easier to take apart. So I said, I'll spray some Kroll on this screw on this hardness tester. I sprayed it on and it did absolutely nothing. I was absolutely confused. I was, what in the world's going on here? This Kroll isn't loosening the screw up. Finally, it came to the point where I had to take the hardness tester apart to clean it. And this big Acme lead screw was completely gummed up with this brown gum. And what I realized is this vegetable based oil turned into a solid residue over time because it didn't have oxidation stability. 
And as it turned into the brown gum that you see in a frying pan, it totally locked this, this screw up. And a petroleum penetrating oil such as Kroll that cuts through any type of grease or rust didn't touch this vegetable based based gum that was in there because it's a different solvent. It's a different different lubrication. The petroleum wouldn't dissolve this, this natural type gum that it, that it formed. So I wanted something that was non-gummy. Now, I'm gonna show this M1 Garand here. You see this, it's a beautiful gun made by Springfield Armory. Watch this mechanism. You see that? If you've ever seen an M1 Garand function, this thing goes forward like a lightning bolt and it will jam your thumb up here if you have it in place. I wanted to show you what an M1 Garand that's properly lubricated and doesn't have a gummed up oil in it, how it actually operates. Ready? That's how fast it goes. Compare it to the one that's gummed up. Well, watch this guy. Look at that. See how slow that is? That's your vegetable-based gun oil. That's a death sentence to our soldiers and our Marines right here. And it's a death sentence to somebody who puts that on their concealed carry firearm, pulls it out when they need it, and now their gun won't work. So what we did with this oil is our team of chemists, they don't work here at Geisley, but we worked with a team of chemists who are absolutely brilliant with what they, with what they do. And we designed this non-gumming formula. We've developed also an accelerated aging test here at Geisley so we can see exactly how this lubricant performs over time and see how it gums up. And this does an absolute bang up job and will not gum up. So if you put it in your concealed carry gun, this will not lock up. Sometimes you don't want an oil in your gun. For instance, take a semi-automatic handgun that you put in a holster. If you put an oil lubricant on it, over time as it sits vertically in your holster, it will start to drain off your gun on the slide. So we developed quadruple zero, very thin grease. And this is for the points on a firearm where you want your lubricant to stay and stay in place. It's purple, just like our purple go juice. It's extremely thin. Triple zero comes from the grade of grease that it is. If you go to your, your auto parts store and you buy grease for your, your, uh, your U-joints or kingpins for your truck, you're gonna be getting an NGLI, National Grease Lubricating Institute grease that's probably number two. There is very little grease that's thicker. There are some, but number two is what you get when you go to an auto parts store. Excuse me while I wipe my finger off here. As you go thinner, there's, there's industrial uses for thinner grease. You go to NGLI number one, then the zero, double zero, and triple zero. I've never seen a grease thinner than triple zero, but that's what we've done here. This is quadruple zero, very thin grease that's excellent for the slides on your firearm, for the cam pin on your AR-15, um, for the, the, the sliding areas on, on your bolt carrier, trigger sears. This is an excellent lubricant that has all the advantages of our purple go juice. And I, I also want you to look right here at this. It's called, one of its properties is called ultra high stenacity. Now, Stenacity, look at that word. It's stay and then nasty. I made that word up because I wanted to describe how this quadruple zero grease stays on your gun. So don't laugh at that. I'm just warning you up front. I made that word up to describe it. ALG Defense, our sister company, you can go on their website and, and, and these are available on, their, on my wife's website. She runs ALG Defense and I think you'll find these lubricants an excellent firearm lubricant. One thing about ALG, is that ALG wants a square deal with its customers. ALG tries to put a lot of value in its products. For instance, Purple Go Juice, this is $11.50 for a four ounce bottle. The Quadruple Zero Very Thin Grease is $13.50. It's not excessively priced for what you get. A lot of oils out there, 15 bucks for two ounces. 
These models will last you a long time. It's very reasonably priced. Thank you.